going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I had to show you this thing because it is super cool and it's so much more than what it looked. Well, I can't really say that because it looks like it's a lot, but I was going to say it's so much more than it looks. But there's a lot going on here and there's a lot to go over. So let's take a look at this unit. This is a 2022 model, by the way. And if you're looking for something that's super towable, super lightweight, but super well equipped, you got to check this video out. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so before we start getting into all of this stuff, let's take a look at the numbers on this to see what type of vehicle we can tow this behind. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,736 pounds. So for its size and what it is, it's kinda, I'm not gonna say it's heavy, but for its size, it's heavier than you might think. 1,751 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Dry weight on this thing is under 2,000 pounds. 1968 pounds which means if you don't load this thing up too heavy there are a lot of mid-size or even smaller suvs and pickups that could easily handle this weight so just keep that in mind again this is a 2022 model has one axle on it but they've set it up pretty good with uh, goodyear wrangler tires the spare tire is a westlake off-road tire probably save a little bit of cost there because it's really only a spare but this thing is super cool They've done a great job. I'd love to say we're gonna hop on the inside of this unit and then, you know, come out, but that's not gonna take very long. So let's just walk around this unit and see what's going on. First of all, you have scissor jacks. I believe you have them on the front and rear. You do, so you got four scissor jacks on this thing. Cable satellite, city water connection, got a battery connection here. You could easily fit a couple batteries here. Got a spot to hold your plug. Got a place here for a single 30 pound propane can, which is nice. Has a manual front tongue jack that's easy enough to replace if you want to but a lot of the reasons behind these are because you can almost move them around without having to lift it up with the tongue jack that's not entirely true in the case of this one this is probably a little too heavy for that but yeah these things aren't crazy heavy then you have a front propane connection right there this front hatch you have a cool outside kitchen so check this out kind of like you see on some of those other super high-end units this one has a Truma refrigerator freezer in it. Outside cook area. This thing is super cool. And this is a pre-owned unit, by the way. So not only is it a 22, it's also a pre-owned unit. But this thing is absolutely cool that it has that there. And not only does it have that, but it also has this. Look at that. So you have outside storage for spices, things like that. And then this can pop out and I believe you can put a uh, like another little cabinet or sink or something right here as well. That's very cool. A little shower port up here as well. You have a little step to get on the fender so you can get all this awning work. So this is an awning. It's a bat wing. It basically spreads out and covers this whole side of the RV. If you're by the beach and you want to have some really nice protection from the sun while also having a really cool camping environment, this might be for you. Goodyear Wrangler tires again. There's your other scissor jacks. You have 110 power out here, cable connection. Now, let's look inside of this. So check this out. So you have a cool little, um, like, I don't really know what you call these futons that you can fold out and turn the bottom into a bed. TV already mounted right here as well. You have a little table on each side that you can pop up and use as a place to eat if you want to. I'll open this up in a second when I get to the other side. Price on this 22 model is $18,495. Got a lot of storage up there too. You might be able to see it behind the TV. Very cool, and it has a cool little ramp on the back. This is designed to also be kind of a toy hauler so you can store stuff in it, you can camp with it, you can take your toys out to where you're going and clamp it all down. Very, very cool. I mean, this is awesome. Plus it has an air conditioning already mounted on top of it. Just a cool setup work our way around this ramp all LED lighting got your wine guard air 360 up there another cross ventilation 30 amp connection because you have a full-size AC in this unit in the floor oh well, you have storage so it's your 30 amp connection and some of your tools but what's cool about this and this is what I want you to think about as a toy hauler let's say you're gonna go mountain biking and you want to be able to you know cook and do things while you're out there or you want to go skiing or you want to do something and you want to take all your stuff with you or shoot maybe even you're just traveling across the country and you want a cargo trailer to be able to store all your luggage and everything else with you but then also have a cool place to sleep or stay if for some reason you need to camp you know at a truck stop 
And on this side, you get another ventilation over here. Great graphics on this unit. Let's climb up this ladder and see what's going on up here. So, got a cool little awning right there. And then you would unzip this to get into this space. Check that out. Isn't that cool? So you could easily sleep, you know, four people in a unit like this. Two on the inside, then two up there. But this is such a really cool unit, and it's very compact. Again, very towable. The only thing it's lacking is a bathroom, and it would be cool if they found a way to kind of integrate one in. Maybe they make it so it wraps around this space, and then you have an outside bathroom right here with some privacy. I don't know. What are your thoughts on a unit like this? What do you think? You know, I know I was just in Utah and I filmed some really, really crazy off-road, off-grid, super overland capable RVs. And now let me look at the suspension on here so I can tell you, I'm sure it's gonna be a torsion suspension. Yep, so that is a torsion suspension underneath this. So it has a reasonably nice suspension on it. It's, you know, it's not comparable to like a Patriot or a Bruder or, you know, any of those super crazy off-road or a Palomino Paws, but it's certainly an upgrade over your traditional leaf sprung suspension. But I'd love to know, what do you think of this? Very, very cool little unit. Could you see yourself camping in this? Or here's a better question. Where would you use something like this? Let's say it was gifted to you and you had it. What would you use it for? I'd love to know. And would this be enough for you? Or would you need something like this enormous destination style trailer? Or, you know, one of these kind of hybrid trailers that has soft walled sleeping areas and a hard wall? an Airstream, you know, what type of RV do you think would be perfect for you? And if you had something like this, what would you use it for? Anyways, guys, sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.